These are more questions regarding matter. I put them as questions 14 through 18. These are questions that I took from the 2015 Canon Regents exams. Um, again, matter it is a very broad category for New York State that includes things like gas laws and solutions, and I just tried to break it apart a little bit. So to try to make more sense of it for you. So let's go through the answers to these and some explanation. Um, also, I'm putting together, um, I'm calling a notes video on matter. Take a look at that as well. See what you need to know, at least from the 2015 regions walking in the door to take your regions. We'll start with question 14. We're looking for types of chemical reactions. You need to know words that are associated with it and what they mean for chemical reactions and then you need to know also phase changes. So the answer is question two because decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and synthesis which is missing from here are all types of chemical reactions. In question one solidification is a phase change. That's going from a liquid to a solid. In choice three you have again solidification, phase change and once again in choice four. So the only answer it could be there is choice two. Okay, if you take a look at 15 and 16, what you're looking at are particle diagrams or particle models. What's happening now on the Regents exams is circles and dots and filled in circles, etc. are being used to represent either individual atoms or combined to represent compounds. So let's take a quick, uh, um, quick look at question 15. It says which two models can be classified as elements? So an element would mean that you only have one type of atom. So it can't be choice one because I have more than one type from the key. Choice two is a good choice because it's all element X. Choice three, another good choice because it seems like it's all of element Z, and once again it cannot be choice four because you have a circle and then a circle and a line with it representing two elements. In other words, the answer here is choice three. If I go to 16, I'm only dealing with one type of atom, and you'll notice they are clustered together. So it says which substance at STP can be represented in this particle diagram? Well, if you think back to phases, gases, liquids, and solids. Gases are the furthest apart, liquids are closer, and then of course solids are more in a structure. So really what we're looking for here is which one of these at STP would be a solid. Nitrogen's a gas, hydrogen's a gas, krypton of course is a noble gas, so the only answer would be choice three. Make sure you do know all of your gases at STP from the periodic table. Also, there are two liquids, one liquid metal, mercury, and one liquid nonmetal, bromine. Again, check out the notes on matter. Make sure you know them. Finally, well, not finally, almost next to finally, let's look at question 17. 17 is, a, again, a type of reaction. So I have, you'll notice, two elements, and I only have one compound. So it's the bringing together of these two elements and the bringing together of these two elements is the way we describe synthesis reactions. So put those on your vocabulary list, make sure that you know them and can recognize them. Question 18. Question 18 I put on here, this, when I first read it I saw a gas sample and um, I guess it could stay here or maybe I could have moved it to gas laws but I didn't. Anyway, I'm dealing with a 2-liter sample of chlorine at STP, and what other sample would occupy the same number of molecules? Well, what you need to know for this is very simple. It doesn't matter what the gas is. If I'm at STP and I have the same volume, I'm going to have the same number of molecules of that gas. So just play the matching game 2-liter to 2-liter. So the answer is choice 2. Check out other videos work hard, work on questions, good luck.